One of the best road teams in the National League has one of their best pitchers on the mound. Should be an easy win, right? Not so fast. Hey, everyone. It's Five Farley. It's July 23rd, and uh, we got a travel day in baseball, but a really good slate of games today. A couple to pick from. i got two plays for you here coming up in just one second. Let me say first thanks to the subscribers. I appreciate it. Welcome to the new subscribers. I uh, hope you get some value out of this channel. Uh, second, let me say yesterday was a loss on the under with uh, Houston and uh, the Angels. Angels showing life. On their offense, they have the potential to score. Um, they've just been way underperforming, riding the back of Trout. And uh, unfortunately for Trout, once again, who will likely be sitting at home watching his colleagues play on uh, in October. So uh, moving on to today. All right, so two games for you. One real quick. Here we go. Atlanta Braves going to Miami Marlins. This is the game in which the Braves' second-best record on the road in uh, the National League. I think the Rockies are one... Uh, one game ahead of them, but they're 28 and 23 on the road. Uh, they got Sean Newcomb on the mound, 3.51 ERA, going against Jose Urania of the Miami Marlins. Um, he's got a 4.39 ERA. He's only two and nine. Seems like a pretty straightforward uh, pick, right? Not so fast. Jose Urania has been pitching well all season long. He's a very consistent, good pitcher. Um, he's above average when it comes to his WHIP. He's got a 220, 122. Uh, whip. Uh, rest of pitchers have a 129 average whip, so he's better than the uh, baseball average there. Opponents hitting 259 off him and a 4.39 ERA. If we go to the last 30 days, it drops down to a 4.3 ERA and opponents hitting uh, uh, 259, 256 at home. Um, so, and at home, he's got a 4.26 ERA, even better. What's interesting, he doesn't have a win yet at home. Um, even though the Marlins have won three straight of his starts, all at home, he just hasn't got the decision in him. Let's flip over to Sean Newcomb and take a look into his numbers, because this is interesting. Uh, Newcomb was a fantastic pick early out of the gates um, until lately. His last five starts, uh, Braves have lost all five. He's picked up three of the losses. He's got an 8.0 ERA. Check out some of his numbers. 8.0 ERA in his last 30 days. 18 innings, 19 hits, 16 runs, 5 jacks, 14 walks, and a 264 batting average against him. Just awful, awful numbers. And now we're going into Miami, who's actually playing decent ball. Miami's number 12 in batting average in the month of July. And that's 17 games worth. They're 12th hitting in, in all of baseball. I bet you didn't know that. Um, traditionally, they've been at the bottom, 28th, 29th, or 30th. So here they are up to uh, number 12, and uh, they've won seven of their last 10 games. So they are a decently hot team. Their pitcher needs to get a win at home. They've won three straight with him on the mound. Newcomb, they've lost five straight. Uh, the Braves have lost five straight with him on the mound. So I'm going to back the uh, Miami Marlins. Um, at home with uh, Urania at a plus 115 underdog. Um, get it while you can. There is some sharp money coming over on the Miami side. 85% uh, of the tickets over on Atlanta, whereas 56% of the money is on Atlanta. So a lot less, a lot of the bigger money coming over on the uh, Miami side. So there we go is the first pick. Second pick is going to be pretty straightforward. we got the San Diego Padres going to the uh, New York Mets. Jacob DeGrom, best pitcher in baseball. 5-4 is a travesty that he's uh, um, only 5-4 and four with the best ERA in, in all of baseball at 1.68. Um, he's had seven starts where he's given up one or fewer runs and gotten seven or more innings, just a workhorse, and not gotten the decision. It's crazy. It's crazy. Any other team, he would be, you know, he'd have 13, 14 wins, but... Uh, here he is at 5-4, and four, playing against the Mets, going against Eric Lauer, the young kid, just turned 23 last month. And uh, Lauer has been finding his own. He does give up a lot of hits, however, not a lot of runs. Um, he's pitched well as of late uh, with a 3.71 so yeah, ERA in his last uh, five starts. Um, and now the Mets just lost Cespedes. Cespedes may be going in for procedure on his... Uh, calcification of the heels which may put him out all the way till next season Mets are just taking blow after blow they just traded away their closer um, you know they're, they're definitely going to be in rebuilding mode and uh, 
also losing Cespedes to the offense. They are the worst hitting team against lefties. Uh, and here we have a lefty going against them um, who's been pitching well as of late, going against the best pitcher in baseball. I'm taking under seven. So there you go. There's my two picks, under seven there. And uh, Miami Marlins back in Urania. Good luck, everyone. I'll see you again soon.